U.S. has announced to cancel the special trade status of Hong Kong. Concerns are mounting over both capital and brain drain from the SER. What's your response and how can Hong Kong counter the fallout? Complete nonsense and it's a usual scaremongering uh, tactic. Um, I was around in Hong Kong uh, in 1982 when the Chinese government announced that they would take Hong Kong back in uh, 1997 and I uh, was um, involved in the, in the entire transition between 1984 and 1997. We had in those days, before 1997, uh, brain drain and capital outflow. Uh, but in the past uh, month or so, um, since the central authorities made its intention known to legislate against uh, national security uh, threats, we have seen nothing uh, of the sort. Um, society is very stable. Our economy, uh, despite uh, COVID-19, is doing okay. Um, uh, the real estate market is, is very strong, and so is the um, uh, stock market. Hong Kong was America's third largest market for wine exports, fourth largest market for beef. Will it affect Hong Kong people's daily lives? <laughs> um, we haven't announced any countermeasure yet, uh, but in terms of what the American government have announced so far, um, I don't think it would affect um, uh, Hong Kong. Uh, the American government knows full well that we are one of their best trading partners in, um, in the sense that we provide a huge amount of trade surplus uh, to American exporters uh, to Hong Kong and they have a large business presence uh, in Hong Kong. Um, so um, I believe, uh, and def definitely hope so, that the American uh, will be um, uh, will take into account uh, of their interest in Hong Kong too. You just mentioned you were involved in the whole process of the transition in 1997, and we've heard critics saying that the new national security law will undermine the one country two systems and a breach of the Sino-British Joint Declaration. Can you tell us more about the Sino-British Joint Declaration? Well, actually, I, 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 I've written and, and posted and up to, uh, uploaded an article regarding the Joint Declaration. And I challenge people who claim that the national security law legislation is in breach of the Joint Declaration to actually point out which article of the Joint Declaration uh, has been breached by the Chinese government's moves. If you look at the, uh, the article one by one, it's not a long uh, document. And it's very really easy to read and understand. Uh, there's nothing in the Joint Declaration, and by extension, there's nothing in the Basic Law that doesn't allow the Chinese government um, uh, to enact and for the Hong Kong government to uh, implement such law.